Hello, I'm Amy Oliverio, a realtor who loves renovating, and I'm at the live renovation. Today is template day. Always an exciting day because the kitchen's finally coming together and we're very, very close to having countertops. I'm here with Johnny Rominger from Bad Lizard Granite and Quartz, and he's going to explain some of the new technology that they are bringing to the table. Literally. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, Johnny, how are you doing? Good. How are you, Amy? Good, good. So what do you have going on here today in this kitchen? All right. So basically, if you kind of take a look at right here on this corner, you'll see that what I'm fooling around with today is the laser. Okay. <laughs> All right. So basically what I'm doing today is I am digitizing Amy's countertops. Uh, and what that means is, is that I am literally taking the dimensions of her top of her cabinets and I am putting them into a form that our equipment back at the shop can read so that we can basically implement it into our CNC equipment. Here's what I mean by that. When I shoot this particular point with my laser, basically I am going to pick up two points that make that line of the cabinets. Okay. okay. What I'll do now is I will start a new line and basically shoot two more points. Okay. Now I'm so shooting we're... the far edge okay. of this particular island. Let me see it. And this is the cooktop island, so you can even see the stove there, the 30 inch gas range and the induction plate. Exactly. And we're seeing the lasers hit. Let me get a close up of that because it's kind of hard to see in from the distance, but it's shooting that laser onto this little white corner. So what this laser system does is it takes the angle and the measurement of those points with that laser and it basically implements them perfectly onto a 2D flat surface that gives us the exact measurement. If I were to measure from those two points mm -hmm. with my tape measure and then check the dimension on my tablet, it would be identical. Okay. Okay. So then what happens is once I get done with this island, once I shoot the interior dimensions of where her cooktop cutout needs to be, along with the telescoping downdraft mm -hmm. and with her side hot plate over here. Then I'll add overhangs, which she's gonna get an inch and a half overhang on each side of this cabinet, which is standard. And then basically we'll send that to our CNC saw, which will cut that shape out of the material she chose, which is our Carrera Grigio quartz from our MSI line. Um, the CNC saw will basically do rough cuts to give us the dimensions we need. Then that piece, along with any other pieces for a kitchen, will go over to our CNC router. The CNC router will do things like polish the edges, uh, radius the corners, do the cutout for the cooktop. Where her sink is, it'll actually do the cutout and drop for the sink. It'll actually profile the inside dimensions according to the sink specs that we give it. Um, and basically, the CNC equipment, along with the digital templating that I'm doing today, gives us a much, much more level of precision that we couldn't achieve before. Um, Amy doesn't know it, she's gonna learn out right now, <laughs> but her wall is pretty crooked, okay? Because of this laser templating system, as I shot the points one, two, three, four, because I used my uh, 10 foot um, straight edge to find out okay. what points of that wall were sticking out. Whenever we bring that stone back, it'll actually wrap around that wall. And that's achieved because of our 2D, 3D templating system. Okay. Um, so the CNC equipment will basically scribe that back wall the same way that I shot it today with the laser. Okay. Now, one of the things that you have to do to be prepared for template day, you have to have all of your faucets on hand, you have to have your sinks on hand, uh, your appliances, in this case, with when you have a drop-in range like we are having in this, the telescoping downdraft, uh, those all have to be there. He's also mentioned how crooked the walls are. The floors are incredibly crooked, uh, or uh, I guess unlevel is actually the correct word for the floors. I talked about shimming, and I wanted to show you an example of what shimming is. Shimming is when you lift up the kitchen cupboards on the bottom, on the floor. Let's see if you can see this. Okay, there's the bottom. Do you see what that is right here? That is a piece of hardwood floor, and there is the section of the floor where it is. These floors were, I mean, so unlevel, and you get that in a house. No build, no construction is perfect, and over the over time, especially when you're renovating an older home, things have settled. So everything has to be perfectly 
level in order to put a solid surface countertop in like quartz or granite. You don't want to have cracking. It, it can't settle with the house later. You have to make it perfect now. So um, in order to get ready for installation day, Johnny, what else do we need to do after you're, after you're finished today's work? Um, what will need to be done? So Amy touched on some really good points. You know, if there's anything that affects us on the countertop, like a sink, like a faucet, like a cooktop, like a telescoping downdraft. That all needs to be here on the day of the template because we don't typically like to go by the manufacturer specifications for appliances because what if they're off a little bit? What if uh, the guy that was drawing those specs up that day was off by a quarter of an inch? We cut off a quarter of an inch that we can no longer put back. So that is an issue where it's nice to have the actual appliance on site that way we can actually template to it. It's gonna give you a much better degree of accuracy and Amy's not gonna be upset when we come out and install these countertops. Uh, but like she said, basically we need bare cabinets to, to do our templates. Uh, we need a little bit of room, you know, so if you have contractors working in the house that day, we just need them to step out for a little bit while we do what we need to do. Uh, basically besides that, these cabinets are ready for us to come back and install. You know, like you've got two fridges over there. We'd kind of like to have those out of the way so that we have a little bit better access. They better be out of the way by the time the counters are arriving. <laughs> I've, been, I've been dying to see what they look like in place. Okay, but otherwise, otherwise she's in pretty good shape here. Okay. Well, Johnny, thank you for joining us. Let's get, let's get in here together. Johnny from Bad Lizard Granite. I'm Amy Oliverio with uh, Caleb Properties. Give us a call if you need countertops or if you need to buy or sell a home. We're both happy to help. Have a great day. Thank you.